Lord! Sometimes that's just lack of concentration. You said I could ask anything, Dominic. Yeah. Did you have anything to do with point shaving? No. No, it was a lot of gambling going on, though. You know, everyone depended on me making shots. You know what I mean? And when I made shot after shot after shot after shot, would you put your money on it? <laughs> the gamblers obviously directly contacted you. I mean, talk about the gambling that you speak of. Is no one ever contacted me on gambling. You know what I mean? It was this type of thing where you see rings, you know what I mean? But I would hear, you know, Dom, what's going on tonight? How's the game going to go? We're going to win. We're going to dominate, you know? I'm going to score 30. <laughs> Young with another three-pointer, and that yes. is good. Are you, Young. Are you serious? Said it's first lead with 2.7 seconds. As easy as he makes it sound, oftentimes it seemed like he could do just that. Go for 30 at the drop of a hat. Nine three-pointers in the game. Thanks to his great jump shot and endless range. But that's why missing three of four free throws down the stretch against Wyoming, including an air ball, seems so suspicious. And you're down to a seven-point game. And you know. the, the point shaving thing, can you see where, where people would think that that was happening? I mean, 19-point oh, yeah. lead, a, a great free throw shooter, a guy that you said one of the best jump shooters ever, you think. I mean, self-proclaimed. Air ball's a free throw? I can't even remember that free throw, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't remember it. And in that game, Chris fouled out. I mean, Chris got hurt. Kendrick fouled out. We had Damon going, but he was suspended back and forth. And... You know, we weren't getting a lot from Rasan and a lot of big guys and things, and we lost the lead. Do you think there was point shaving going on? Not whether you saying you're not involved, but was there point shaving? You said about all the gambling. You think there was point shaving going on? I don't really understand point shaving. Okay, I know none of my teammates had the ability to fix the games. I'm I'm the point guard, so I know we're gonna struggle a little bit if Chris hurts his ankle and Kendrick goes out, fouls out, he, they're both leading scorers. So, you know, we're gonna struggle a little bit. But no one was going around throwing games and doing any of that. We were trying to win. We wanted to be the number one team in the, in the whole country. You know what I mean? That's, that was bottom line. What do you think when you hear point shaving? Is it, is it cheating? Is it horrible? Point shaving is cheating. Point shaving is cheating. Is cheating wrong? Yeah. Yes, yes. When you have the ability, I mean, being, being as talented as you were and as big a name, was there Intrigued two-point shaving for you? No, I, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even understand anything about it. I, I never even heard the word. This a crazy story that we was in Vegas. My, my dad told me afterwards, he was at the bar, he was gambling, and one of the bartenders was like, hey, hey, you uh, hear about the young, the young kid? So he, my dad had said, um, no, what happened? And basically they said, oh, he, he got caught gambling or something. My dad said his heart dropped like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, what? And then everybody rushed to, to the game. And I come out of practice, and Roscoe puts his arm around me. And he says, look, when you walk out of here, your life is going to change forever. And it did. The name Dominic Young and the words point shaving will forever be linked. How did you deal with all the negativity that, that went with your name? I mean, you Google your name, and one of the first things that pops up is point shaving. How have you dealt with that, Dominic? No one that you say you're innocent with it. These guys, any youth, any players, any people that want to make it to the next level or has adversity, someone's got an issue or a problem, bro, you don't. <laughs> I hit my midlife crisis at 23, 24. I was the top point guard coming out. One of the top point guards coming out. Nice. And to miss millions of dollars, that could drive people crazy. Is, is it nice to talk about it right now? Yes. And you know, a lot of people know they did a lot of wrong. They know they did a lot of wrong, you know what I'm saying? No one's perfect, but intentionally, you know, going those routes, and it's not, that's not good. Like they say, he who laughs last, laughs the longest. <laughs>